In this video, we're going to show you how to download and use iTech 7 to create a simple Hello World C Sharp application using Visual Studio. The first step is to download the current release from GitHub at github.com slash iTex. Versions of iTex for .NET prior to the 7.0 release were called iTex Sharp. Starting with version 7, the software product for both Java and .NET developers is now just called iTex. To download iTex 7, click on the iTex 7.NET link. Then on the releases, and finally on the itex7.net zip file. Once the download completes, extract the contents of the zip file to an easy to access location such as your desktop. The next step is to launch Visual Studio and create a new project. For this demonstration, we are going to create a C-sharp console application. Once Visual Studio has completed creating the project files, we now need to add references to itex. From the Solution Explorer pane, right-click on the References and select Add Reference. From the Reference Manager window, click on the Browse button and navigate to the location that you extracted the zip file to earlier. For this demonstration, we are going to make a very simple application, so we only need to reference three libraries. Hold down the Control key on your keyboard and select the iText IO kernel and layout VLLs, and then press the Add button, followed by the OK button. To bring the iTex namespaces into scope, add three new using directives to the top of the code for itex.kernel.pdf, itex.layout, and itex.layout.element. This demonstration will create a PDF on the desktop, so we're going to add some variables to specify that. Next, we're going to create an instance of a PDF writer that's bound to our desktop export file. The PDF writer class implements the iDisposable interface, so it can be declared with a using statement. Next, we're going to create an instance of a PDF document that's bound to our PDF writer and will once again use a using statement. The final object that we need to create is a document object that's bound to our PDF document. Finally, we can create a new paragraph object with some sample text and add that to our document. To run the application, press F5 on the keyboard and after a short build process, a console window will appear and disappear. You can then navigate to your desktop and find the test PDF that we created. If you open this PDF with a program such as Adobe Acrobat or Reader, you can go to the File menu and select Properties and see that the PDF was created with the AGPL version of iText. 